Hi, I'm Marion Landry, Technical Marketing Manager for Autodesk. This is a small civil view tips and tricks for the Autodesk infrastructure suite user. This is to clarify the proper workflow from civil 3D to 3ds Max design. I recently came across something that might bring confusion to the infrastructure suite user who wants to move data from Civil 3D to 3ds Max design. Upon installing the infrastructure suite premium, which will give you access to 3ds Max design, you'll have access to the suite workflow button as part of the application menu. Now, if you have the infrastructure suite premium, you'll have this button as well as if you have any other Autodesk suite installed on your computer, which is the case for my computer. On my computer, I do have the building design suite installed and I have recently installed Civil 3D as a standalone software. But because I do have an Autodesk suite installed on my computer, which has installed 3ds Max and Showcase, I do have access to the suite workflow button as part of Civil 3D. And this is where the confusion lies. This one-click workflow button is great to send data from Revit, AutoCAD, or Inventor to 3ds Max Design and Showcase as an example, but not the ideal workflow between Civil 3D and 3ds Max Design. So in this video, I wish to clarify the ideal workflow in between Civil 3D and 3ds Max Design. If we look closely at the option available in Civil 3D as part of the suite workflow, we can send our 3ds Max data for animation, lighting analysis, rendering of a building size, a chair size, or a room size, and none of these options are really for Civil 3D data that is mostly land size, so much larger than a building. And if you are like me and have any other Autodesk suite installed on your desktop, which includes Showcase, you will have the option in the Suite Workflow button to send the Civil 3D data to Showcase. And maybe you're not aware of this, but Civil 3D data is not supported by Showcase. So you don't need to try this option. It will not be supported by Showcase. So really the only two options that might be tempting to send your data is to either create a lighting analysis or to create an animation. So we'll try this workflow button and send the 3ds Max Design data to create an animation and see what we get. So 3ds Max Design gets launched automatically and once the data is imported, we get a message to advise us that Civil 3D and 3ds Max Design keeps an active link and that link is managed in 3ds Max Design via the file link manager. So I will click on that button and look at the file link manager in 3ds Max Design. So I could see that the file is attached and it was sent as a DWG. Now DWG are great but when it's a matter of Civil 3D, we have a way better workflow, which will give us an intelligent data, which already comes textured, and then we'll be able to use it in 3ds Max Design. Right now, what I have is a mesh that is all attached together of a terrain and a corridor, and there's only little things I can do with that if not almost nothing. So this workflow is not really valid as we have a much more solid workflow using .VSP3D and the Civil View toolset that was specifically created for the Civil 3D user. The accurate suite workflow is to navigate to the output tab and choose the option to export to Civil View for 3ds Max design. Now you can choose what part of your data you want to export and we know that when it's time to do visualization, we want to keep the data light and this will export a .vsp 3D data which will come clean, already textured and will be usable in 3ds Max design while using the Civil View toolset that was created exactly for Civil 3D users. Now, unfortunately, this is not a one-click workflow and it involves few steps. 
So first you'll need to start Civil View in 3ds Max Design, and then you'll need to import the data using the geometry import .vsp3d file. You're going to select the .vsp3d and select what part of the data again you want to import. So I'm going to import a couple of center line, the ground and the region, so the corridor region. I'm going to click OK and I will receive a clean and intelligent data in 3ds Max Design that I will be easily able to use to create a visualization. So this is my terrain and you'll see that my corridor is already uh, textured and has some material applied. Next, I will open the Civil View Explorer where I will have access to all the tools needed to create my visualization. The first thing you might want to do is to repath the terrain bitmap to be applied directly on the terrain mesh. So I will find it in my folder and because I have a world coordinate file attached to this JPEG image, the terrain gets positioned at the appropriate location automatically once in 3ds Max Design. And then after that, I'm starting to use the Civil View tool sets to place parametric object on my corridor while using the corridor center line that I have just imported from Civil 3D. So really easily, I can apply a camera to my corridor center line, as well as cars, roadside furniture, trees, plant, road signage, and a lot of uh, very important object that will enhance my visualization and the experience of this corridor once in 3ds max design but the main reason why this workflow is seamless and so powerful is that civil 3d and 3ds max design keep an active link between each other and therefore you can continuously update the data in 3ds max design as it is evolving in civil 3d so here I'm going to go under the uh, Civil View Tools, Import Object Manager, and I'm going to point to an updated .vsp3d. So what I'm doing is pointing to a .vsp3d that was exported from the updated or more advanced Civil 3D data, and then choose the option to update the selected content in 3ds Max Design. And then you get the updated data in uh, 3ds Max Design. So notice that the corridor is now smoother, it has more segment, but the parametric object that I had applied using the Civil View tool sets are also updated to follow this uh, corridor update. So nothing gets lost uh, that I have applied on top of my data in 3ds Max Design. Now, of course, you can choose to import more uh, region, more corridor feature line as the data sets evolve and manage what is part of your visualization in uh, 3ds Max Design and therefore have a more complete uh, data sets that can follow the updates that you are applying in Civil 3D. So I hope that this video brings clarity and the proper workflow to exchange data between Civil 3D and 3ds Max Design which is included as part of the Autodesk Infrastructure Premium Suites. Now, this is a very powerful workflow as long as you choose the right button to send your data to 3ds Max Design.